I think a lot of people don't get chickens because they just automatically think that they don't have enough space. But usually people do have enough space. But I'm gonna give you all the guidelines right now. When I was a little girl, I wanted to save the world. When that didn't happen, I decided to create my own world where things changed for the better every single day. Welcome to Chickenlandia. Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. I think most of you guys know this, but if not, I live basically in the city. Technically I'm in the county, but I'm actually in a subdivision. So compared to what a lot of people have that are raising chickens, I actually have a pretty small area where I keep them. And I have a decent amount of chickens. <laughs> I feel really fortunate. Sometimes I'm like, ugh. I wish I had land, but when I look at my chickens, even though I would love them to have more space, I think that, you know, especially with them being mostly rescues, they have a pretty good life and they seem pretty happy to me. So the first thing that you should be thinking about is coop space. There is a grand debate <laughs> in the chicken world about how much space you need inside your coop. Some people say you need only two square feet per standard size chicken, and other people insist that you need four square feet at least per standard size chicken. What I tell people is if your chickens have places outside of their coop where they can be shielded from the elements, rain, snow, heat, where they can just have a place to hang out if the weather is not great so that they don't start picking on each other because you really don't want that. And if you don't have enough space in your coop and that's the only place that they have to chill out if the weather is bad, then they might start picking at each other. And that's the last thing that you need. But if you have areas like a covered run or you have lots of trees with shelter and shade, then you could probably get away with, I would say no less than two square feet per chicken and they would do just fine. <laughs> Now, if your chicken environment has only a coop and the rest is just like an uncovered space with nowhere else for them to really be out of the elements, then you are definitely gonna wanna make sure that you have more room in the coop so that they can hang out in there comfortably for an extended period of time. In that case, I would say four square feet per standard size chicken. You can feel like an egg or what? As far as how much space you need outside of the coop, there is yet another grand debate in the chicken world. <laughs> Free ranging versus keeping your chickens in an enclosed run. There's a lot of people that have pretty strong feelings about not free ranging your chickens because the truth is if your chickens are outside on pasture with no protection, it is gonna be hard for you to keep predators from coming and taking them away from you. With that in mind, some people just really feel strongly about free ranging. They feel like the quality of their chicken's life is greatly improved by free ranging. So they just decided that they wanna do that. And I really think there's nothing more beautiful than a free ranging chicken. It is beautiful. I'm the kind of person that I really have a hard time with losing a chicken. They're my pets. So I do keep mine in an enclosed run. I also have dogs that are not good with my chickens. They're rescue dogs. They're little, but <laughs> they really want to eat these chickens. So I keep them in an enclosed netted run. <laughs> if you do decide to go with an enclosed run, I recommend having 10 square feet per standard size chicken. You will want to provide some enrichment for them within their run. You can hang a cabbage for them to play with and eat. You can give them perches to hang out on. I have an enclosed run within my enclosed run that has a little nest box in it and it also has a dusting box for them that they love. And then inside the coop I have several perches for them 
and a nesting box that they love to get in. I normally recommend no less than four chickens for new chicken keepers. It's just better for them because they're flock animals. And I talk about that in my one video about how many chickens you should get. I definitely think you should check that out. It's linked right here. Just click on that. 100% friendly chicken education and entertainment as always. You're gonna love it.